Once upon a time, long ago, in a kingdom far away, there were no written words, just stories. And everything important was taught through them. Generation after generation shared and passed on these stories. They guided people's lives, values, and decisions because they were simple, easy to remember, tugged at their emotions, and the lessons they taught were obvious. It was a healthy and happy time for everyone, young and old, had good stories to grow and live by. One day, the written word came into being. The new king, Cognos I, decreed from his palace window, loyal subjects, I hereby decree, use your noggin in place of your heart and learn to read. They obeyed, and over time, sadly, they forgot the stories that had guided them for so long. Yet, delighted with their progress, and because he cared for their well-being, the king filled libraries full of books on how to lead healthy lives. But unfortunately, the people were left alone with this information and expected to decipher meaning on their own. Many tried to learn medical facts and the consequence of bad habits, but it didn't make much difference. Stuff just didn't stick like it used to. As a result, plagues of indulgence, obesity, smoking, drinking colas, and worse, overcame the land. The wise healers said, Surely, sire, they'll listen to us. With that, they boldly set forth to print, publish, and preach the same facts over and over, insisting that people get it. But they too failed. Wearing white robes and telling people what they needed, no matter how unrelenting, wasn't the answer. Even their royal readiness for change models fell like a brick. The king, in desperation, issued an edict to use the new kingdom wide web. And people flocked online to consume the new form of written word. They searched for information to improve their lives. Oh, they found it. Lots of it. But screens were wordy and poorly designed. They soon clicked off because it all wasn't very interesting and gave them a headache. People still did not follow instructions and would not break their unhealthy patterns. They had become information rich, yet wisdom poor, and getting more unhealthy every day. Alas, said the king, what shall become of us? The sun was setting fast on these once proud people. Aha, said the Temple of Health scholars. We've got what they need to get healthy. The king's eyes twinkled. Convinced, he spent vast sums from his treasury on better charts, electronic health records, personalized medical information, super infographic dashboards, self-monitors that blinked, apps that dinged, and gadgets that zinged. But these two proved ineffective as cries were heard across the land. Graphs? We don't need no stinking graphs. I've got a blue button. What color is yours? Hey, I bet my doctor's data is bigger than your doctor's data. Is there an app for measuring my boredom? Because I'm dying here. Perhaps cognitive stuff worked for the village of Geek and the family of King Cognos. But that was only 10%. As for the rest, well, they were so overloaded with info and options, and so overwhelmed with how complex things had become, they simply gave up. Resigned to fate, they slumped back on their couch, grabbed a pizza, and switched to watching Kingdom Idol. As they shared a smoke, they concluded that healthy and happy people must only live in fantasy shows reality TV, and movies. Ah, but little did they know that a wizard was about to appear in the kingdom.
the end.